Hey, what's up? This is Jason Tucker, and this is day 16 of SSS Beta. So, I, um, <laughs> I haven't been doing very well with Veda. Um, this is kind of around the same time that I quit last year, and, um, I don't know. It's tough. Uh, for one, I, I didn't record uh, yesterday. <laughs> now it's 12.44 in the morning, so about ready to go to bed, and I just realized I didn't record today. So I ended up um, doing our 200th episode of WP Water Cooler, which was really cool. <laughs> really cool to have done 200 episodes, very close to four years um, of recording WP Water Cooler. Um, I actually started it when I started my um, my own business and I just needed a way to kind of promote all the stuff that I was doing and everything and um, got a bunch of people together and started a show where we talked about uh, you know something that we were super interested in which was um, WordPress so um, yeah so I've uh, been doing that for four years now going on four years come September and um, uh, 200 episodes, not bad. Uh, we do one every single week on Mondays at um, 11 in the morning Pacific. And I don't know, it was just, it was really cool to kind of do a recap of the the last 100 episodes and, um, you know, what was involved in it and what I'm going to be doing in the future with it and that sort of stuff. And for the most part, nothing's really going to change. Um, I got a notification today that YouTube is going to be kind of, or rather Google's going to be changing some stuff with Google Plus, and I think they're pretty much dismantling Google Plus at this point, and um, one of the things they're going to kind of rip out of it, I think they're ripping things out slowly but surely, um, but one of the things that they're ripping out of it is Google Hangouts on air. Um, they're essentially going to turn that into a YouTube-only product. So you'll actually be using YouTube Live to do the streaming and stuff, which is fine. It's it's fine by me. It's one less place I need to log into, Google Plus and all of that. Um, they're going to rip out some some features, features that I don't think we really use. Um, hopefully everything still works with Google Hangout on air, where you can actually have multiple people on at the same time and you know all the stuff that you know we we use Google Hangout for so I'll play around with that a little bit um, they have until I think it's uh, mid-September or something is when um, they're gonna have everybody essentially start using the new system so I'll have to look into that and see how it's gonna work and see what they're cutting out and how that's gonna affect the show and stuff so um, we've been through these types of things in the past. It's no big deal. And if things don't work out, um, I guess I'll have to find another thing to do or, or whatever. So, did that, um, WP Water Cooler's, uh, show, WP Blab, um, did its, what was that? Was that its 30th episode? For, for, uh, I think it's 30th episode, if I remember correctly. Um, and we did that on um, a new platform. <laughs> so, if you don't know anything about WP Blab, it's a show that I do with uh, Bridget Willard and as my co host. <laughs> and we named it WP Blab, um, B L A B. And WP Blab is supposed to just be like a fun show for her and I to do together. Um, it's a way of doing um, Q&A type stuff. Uh, we don't take ourselves too seriously or anything like that. Which we don't take to ourselves too seriously on water cooler either. But um, yeah, it was just like a fun thing to do. And uh, you know, we've been approached a few times for sponsorships. And I'm still having troubles with wrapping my brain around what a sponsorship actually means. And um, if you've ever done a sponsorship um, type deal 
with a, a podcast or a YouTube channel, you may know this, but especially when you have an opinion about stuff, um, one of the main reasons why on WP Water Cooler we don't do sponsors is because of the fact that um, we like to voice our opinions about things that we like and don't like. And we also don't want to have any outside influences telling us what we can and can't like. Or rather, the things that we're not allowed to talk about, or we just feel like we're contractually obligated to not give a good review or a bad review. So, we just don't accept um, any type of sponsorships. Now, when it comes to WP Blab, um, I think that uh, Bridget and I should definitely... Uh, you know, have something coming in from that. So I got to kind of work that out and get it figured out and see what's the what's the process book going to be like. How does that mess with us having an opinion about certain things? Which just means that we need to be way better at kind of curating, um, you know, the sponsors that we would uh, want to have. So, um, so anyhow, going back to Blab. So we named it WP Blab because we're using this website called Blab.im. And if you've read in the news or anything, like tech news or whatever, uh, Mashable and TechCrunch and a couple other sites talked about it. Um, Blab.im, they just like closed the doors. <laughs> and it was weird because of, on Thursday of last week, we I just said, let's switch from Blab. This thing hasn't been updated in quite a while. And it's not even being serviced or any, anything anymore. So let's just ditch it. So we ditched it for um, firetalk.com. Fire, yeah, firetalkapp.com. I don't remember. Anyhow, so uh, firetalk. So we've been uh, playing around with that and using that, and it worked out just fine for our Thursday show. It's a totally different format and totally different way in which you go about stuff. Um, Blab.im was um, a thing where you could go on the show, do a bunch of stuff, and then have control over hitting record uh, in the middle of the show. And then be able to break out and come back again and break out and come back again just by hitting the little button saying, you know, record, stop recording, record, stop recording. And then it would take the um, aggregate data and just turn it into a video that you could upload to YouTube or whatever. Uh, a lot of these services want to get you to, or rather, they want you to use their service as the playback method, but then they also provide you with a place to upload to YouTube, which just seems counterproductive for anybody who's trying to run a business, because they want you to have as many views as possible so that they can show ads, but then they just give you a way to essentially abandon the, pro the platform whenever you want, which I just think's... I don't know. It's good for the content creator. It's bad for the company. So I'm not sure how that all works. So anyhow, uh, FireTalk does the same type of thing. that you uh, upload the video and stuff to YouTube. And they give you a download where you can download it from. Um, I don't think they let you upload directly from their service to YouTube. Which Blab was something that they did. So you actually do have to download the mp4 file and then re-upload re it back up to YouTube. Um, but yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, so with FireTalk, you set the time in which it's going to start. And then when you go on there and you hit go, <laughs> it actually starts streaming live. So um, that's kind of interesting. Um, since I am editing the video uh, after the fact, um, couldn't be too bad. I guess I could just kind of clean it up a little bit. Just means that I'm going to be now editing the video, which I really didn't want to do that. But <sighs> that's fine. I, I guess um, at some point here I do need to uh, essentially start doing some video editing. Um, I guess upload the whole video and use YouTube's video editor to do that, or um, start using Final Cut Pro. I don't know. Um, like I talked about in a previous episode of here on SSS Veda, wow, I've been talking for 10 minutes, I'm so sorry. Um, I use that OutroMaker.com site, and um, I showed you in previous video 
how I did that, um, or what rather what was the end result of doing it. Um, looking at the stats, I did see that people did click on it, so that's kind of cool. Um, probably because they were testing out what it was that I built using it. But um, yeah, so that was a pretty interesting setup. Um, I've been playing around with a competitor of um, of TubeBuddy called I think it's called Video IQ if I remember right. It has the same sort of feature set that um, TubeBuddy does. Um, I've been playing around with that a little bit just to kind of see is there a free or cheaper method to do some of the things that TubeBuddy does because um, TubeBuddy does cost and I also have multiple YouTube channels so I'd have to pay for each one of those costs. That would kind of suck. So, um, I don't know, kind of looking into that a little bit just because I'm curious. And I'm also somebody who advises people in various places, various things. So if you ever have any questions or comments or you want to ask me some, some questions, um, I wouldn't mind kicking some money my way for answering those questions. Um, you can go over to clarity.fm and just search for Jason Tucker on there. Or um, I think if you go to Jason Tucker US, there's a widget on there that you could just click on and pay me per minute to ask me questions and stuff. So if you want to do that, that'd be cool. Um, I actually today just advised somebody, and I did it on the free, <laughs> um, but advised uh, someone about they're wanting to start um, essentially kind of a, a WP water cooler themselves, but for a different um, vertical. So kind of giving them some advice about that stuff uh but i think for those sorts of things it'd probably be cool to charge for it um and i've had a few of those times where that stuff has come up so maybe i do need to just say hey you know um be more than happy to help you out uh here's a link so i'll have to look into that anyhow there'll be a link somewhere on here if i remember to do it and you can go check that out. Anyhow, it's 12 minutes and 43 seconds I've been recording. It is now 12.56. I gotta go to bed. Folks, that's about it. Go to jasontucker.us, click on some links to subscribe and all those fun things. Um, leave a comment in the description. <laughs> if anybody gets that joke, uh, leave a comment in the comment section about it. It's, uh, yeah, all right. Adrian has uh, totally ruined um, saying that saying, so go check that stuff out. All right, folks, talk to you later.